how much vitamin K2 do you need to take? And I think it's more about the fact that you have K2, not necessarily the amount. This is one of my favorite supplements to recommend by Zymogen. I use this all the time. I ask that females take one of these a day and that males take this in addition to another 5,000. But this has 45 micrograms of K2 in it and it has 250 micrograms or 10,000 units of vitamin D3. Here's what I've noticed is that what K2 does to the D3 is it basically increases the absorption. Let's suppose that you didn't have a supplement that had K2 in it. All you had was D3. If you wanted to get your levels up to 100 and you don't have a supplement with K2 in it, you're going to have to take more of the plain D3 to get your levels to the same place. It's not that you can't get a good or an adequate level of vitamin D if you don't have K2. That's not true. You just have to take more of it. I don't think you guys need to focus on the exact amount of K2. Rather, just have it in the mix because it's going to increase the absorption.